precious ladies may be getting married, but God will say, you, I know you are beautiful, but wait. God, why now? Eh? My parents want children. They are telling me they want to see their grandchildren. God will say, the problem is, one child that you'll be having will be equivalent to a nation. I must train you. You are not training a human being. You are training a system. So while others are moving, I am saying, wait. But can you wait? And it's not like you are waiting. He will drive all the men. Good men will keep coming. And he will say, wait. Let me tell you. Waiting is the hardest. Is the surest proof of maturity. Not praying. Not fasting. Waiting. Especially when God does not give you any reason. Wait. Others are buying cars. He will say, wait. I'm showing you a message you don't hear in church again. There is power in waiting. My first scholarship that I got, remember years ago, I got that scholarship. That time there was no GTB in Zaria. The scholarship came to Guarantee Trust Bank. There was no Guarantee Trust Bank in Zaria. You have, and even in Kaduna, there was only one, just one. One GTB, no branch, just one. You would travel and go there. I remember when I collected it, I was so happy. And the Lord asked me to show everything. I thought that would be the only time. Then, may God find you so malleable. May God find you so, so non-resistant. He says the wind bloweth where it listeth. You cannot tell where it is coming or where it's going. I remember, you know, I was preparing happy 2010, hoping that, you know, at least we've served God diligently for a number of years and at least maybe relocate somewhere and, you know, start a greater level of work here and all of that. I remember September 2010, the anointing of God, I was minding my business and the power of God came upon me and he said, I need to talk to you immediately. And that was it. I went for a retreat. And the Lord told me, you are starting something. That koinonia I told you about is about to start. And it will start in this city. I said, ah God, this city again? Have I not tried? That's what God said. And then I began to see the overflows in the visions that the Lord told me. And I began to see all these things. I saw people coming. The Lord said, this thing will make Zaria become like a place of pilgrimage. I saw those things. But I believed. As stupid as I was, believed. As childlike as it was, believed. And to God be the glory, great things He has done. Can you stay with God tonight and say, Lord, I'm no longer in a rush. This craze to prove to people I'm successful. Uh -uh. Let me be qualified based on your standard and I know you will back me. All this hurry, hurry in life is going to destroy us. Please hear what I'm telling you. There is power in process. Some of you, what you need to do now is not to open a church. What you need to do is to submit yourself to mentorship and dealing. Go and buy books, buy videos. I know you are anointed. They, you were a co-guest minister in a crusade, but sit down. The whistle has not yet been blown to go. Don't qualify yourself based on your results. You qualify yourself based on the word from God. The law of process. It's a simple charge. We are going to pray. Two prayer points from the depth of our heart. Number one, you are going to say, Lord, I am tired of this life of pressure and hurrying to prove that I'm successful. I'm ready to follow at your pain. Lift your voice and pray. I'm ready to follow on with your pain.